Everyone's watching Tesla. But while Elon Musk is busy chasing Mars and building humanoid robots, India just dropped a bombshell on the EV market. A brand new electric SUV. 627 kilometers of range. A launch price of just $21,000. No, this isn't some underpowered toy car. It's a full-sized, feature-packed SUV built to dominate the roads. And it's coming from a country no one thought would lead the EV race this fast. This isn't just competition. It's a direct threat to Tesla's global strategy. Because if India can build long-range EVs this cheap, the days of $60,000 electric cars might be numbered. And here's the craziest part. This move doesn't just shake up the market. It could completely flip the global EV hierarchy upside down. So what is this SUV? How did India pull this off? And why should Elon Musk be worried? And if you think $21,000 for 627 kilometers is insane, just wait till you see what's coming next. Hit that like and subscribe now. Let's hit rewind for a second. Remember the avalanche of headlines flooding your feed? Tesla breaking new manufacturing records. Rivian flexing its off-road electric muscle. BYD steamrolling the market with wave after wave of EVs. Every update was hyped, analyzed, and treated like gospel, each one painting the same future. EV domination by the usual giants. But while the world was laser-focused on Silicon Valley and Shenzhen, something seismic was quietly building momentum in India. Enter Tata Motors. Not a household name in the West, but an absolute titan at home. And instead of following the EV playbook, they tore it up. What they've unveiled isn't just another electric SUV. It's a shockwave dressed as a vehicle. A direct challenge to the global elite. Introducing the Tata Harrier EV. Not just electric. Not just premium. A full-blown revolution on wheels. We're talking true AWD performance. Level 2 ADAS for next-gen safety and smart driving. And here's the stat that turns heads worldwide. 627 kilometers of certified range on a single charge. That's 389 miles. Range anxiety? Deleted. But here comes the knockout punch. Starting at just over $25,000. Fully loaded? Still under $34,000. That's not a bargain. That's a declaration of war. This isn't incremental innovation. It's a full-scale disruption. While the rest of the world was busy playing chess, Tata just flipped the board. And somewhere, we imagine Elon Musk staring at a screen, not quite believing what he just saw. India didn't just join the EV race, it rewrote the rules. Hard to imagine now, but rewind just five years, and the idea of India becoming an EV powerhouse? It was almost laughable. The skeptics scoffed. Charging stations were a rarity, range anxiety was the norm, and affordable electric options? Practically non-existent. The road to electrification looked like a dead end. But fast forward to today, and the transformation is nothing short of astonishing. India didn't just catch up. It exploded onto the EV scene. In 2023, EV sales across all segments crossed the 1.5 million mark, a massive leap that signaled a clear shift in consumer mindset. But 2024 took it even further, 1.9 million EVs sold nationwide, a jaw-dropping 19% year-over-year surge. This isn't gradual change. It's a full-blown revolution, accelerating faster than anyone predicted. And leading the charge? The Tata Harrier EV, not just riding the wave but driving it forward. This EV boom isn't being fueled by imports or foreign giants. It's being engineered right here by homegrown disruptors. Tata Motors, Mahindra, Ola Electric, these aren't just car makers. They're nation builders. Investing billions in gigafactories, pioneering cutting-edge R&D, and rewriting the playbook on what electric mobility means in the Indian context. So how did Tata Motors, once met with raised eyebrows for its early EV efforts, pull off what now looks like an industry-defining masterstroke with the Harrier EV? It wasn't luck. It was calculated, strategic brilliance, powered by a relentless commitment to local innovation and next-gen engineering. Let's break it down. At the core of the Harrier EV is Tata's groundbreaking Acti.EV Plus platform. And this isn't some retrofitted gasoline chassis with a battery shoved in. 
No, this is a clean sheet, purpose-built EV architecture designed from the ground up to tackle India's unique demands. It's ultra-lightweight, deeply modular, and carries an unmistakable India-first engineering philosophy. This platform's genius? Modularity. It's designed to accommodate different battery packs, including the 65 kilowatt hours and 75 kilowatt hours configurations, and supports native all-wheel drive integration. That means the Harrier EV isn't just future-ready, it's already built for it. But what really sets it apart is the terrain-tested resilience. Tata didn't just engineer the Harrier EV for smooth highways. They created it to conquer India's urban chaos and rural extremes, pothole-ridden metro streets, unpredictable monsoon conditions, and rugged countryside trails. Thanks to its advanced suspension system and multiple terrain modes, the Harrier EV adapts seamlessly across environments most EVs wouldn't dare tread. And here's where the real power move lies, localization. Over 80% of the Harrier EV's components are sourced domestically within India. That's a massive win for the Make in India initiative, but it's more than just patriotic PR. This strategy cuts manufacturing costs dramatically, shrinks production lead times, and shields Tata from global supply chain chaos and currency fluctuations. While other automakers sweat over port delays and international tariffs, Tata keeps its assembly lines humming and its prices locked down. It's a masterclass in vertical integration, and it's paying off big time. By owning its supply chain, Tata achieves not only cost leadership but also design agility, giving it the freedom to innovate rapidly without waiting on foreign vendors or imports. That's why they're able to offer such a tech-loaded, terrain-ready EV, at a price that's turning heads from California to China. In short, the Harrier EV isn't just a product. It's the result of a multi-year, visionary strategy. One rooted in smart platform design, deep local manufacturing, and a ruthless focus on what Indian consumers actually need. This isn't just how Tata won the game. It's how they changed the rules. To truly grasp the earth-shaking impact and breakthrough innovation of the Harrier EV, we need to rewind the clock and trace the remarkable, often underestimated, journey Tata Motors has taken to get here. Because this wasn't an overnight success story, it was a slow burn powered by grit, vision, and relentless evolution. Tata's EV journey began modestly, with early models like the Tigger EV and the Nexon EV. These first steps weren't perfect. In fact, they were met with hesitation, criticism, and even mockery. Many doubted India's ability to play in the big leagues of electric mobility. The cars were seen as experimental at best, and Tata faced more than a few technical setbacks along the way. But here's what makes this story different. Tata didn't flinch. They were never chasing overnight headlines. They were building something bigger. Playing the long game. Then came the Nexon EV, the turning point that flipped the script entirely. This wasn't just a win. It was a market domination. The Nexon EV didn't just sell well. It became a runaway phenomenon. For most of 2023 and 2024, it held a jaw-dropping 60% plus market share in India's passenger EV segment. Let that sink in. In a fast-growing, hyper-competitive market, Tata claimed more than half the pie. That milestone didn't just silence critics. It rewrote the narrative for emerging market EVs across the world. And this success wasn't built on shallow updates or surface-level tweaks. With every new model, Tata introduced genuine leaps in performance, range, safety, and user experience, all informed by real-world feedback and backed by relentless in-house R&D. The Harrier EV isn't a fluke. It's the culmination of a seven-year climb, shaped by hard-earned lessons, bold engineering, and long-term vision. This SUV isn't just a new model. It's a flagship moment, proof that Tata has earned its place at the top table of global EV manufacturers. Tata Motors has gone from underdog to unshakable force, from being doubted to being dubbed the Tesla of the East. But they aren't chasing comparisons anymore, they're building a legacy. Not just for India, but for the entire global EV landscape. So, who is the Tata Harrier EV really built for? Who gains the most from this groundbreaking machine? The answer, almost everyone, but not just anyone. Because this isn't just a car. It's a precision-engineered solution for India's fast-moving, fiercely ambitious, 
and wildly diverse consumer landscape, and its appeal is already crossing borders. Let's start with the urban professionals and go-getter entrepreneurs. For them, the Harrier EV checks every box. Futuristic design, premium features, powerful performance, without the wallet-crushing price tag of global luxury brands. It's more than transportation. It's a rolling statement of success, perfect for those who want to lead from the front, both in business and in style. Next up, families. This isn't just a sleek city cruiser. It's a long-distance warrior with an Arai certified 627 kilometers, 389-mile range that wipes out range anxiety. Planning a road trip? Go ahead. This SUV delivers space, comfort, and cutting-edge safety tech that protects what matters most, your loved ones. Now let's talk to the true EV believers, the passionate tech enthusiasts who've supported the electric revolution from day one. For years, they've waited for a decimated, premium electric SUV that doesn't force them to compromise on performance or break the bank. With the Harrier EV, that wait is over. This is India's answer to global EV excellence, and it finally lives up to the dream. And here's where it gets international. The growing community of non-resident Indians, NRIs, is taking notice, and they're not just impressed. They're proud. The Harrier EV stands as a symbol of what modern India can achieve, an export-worthy, globally competitive electric vehicle that reflects the country's technological maturity and manufacturing muscle. But it doesn't stop there. The Harrier EV is also a strategic fit for government fleets and forward-thinking commercial buyers looking to electrify operations. With its rugged build, long-range reliability, and ultra-low running costs, it's tailor-made for high-usage applications, from city services to executive transport. Beyond its thrilling performance, futuristic design, and cutting-edge tech, the Tata Harrier EV delivers something even more powerful, a financial revolution for its owners. This isn't just an electric SUV, it's a game-changing wealth-building machine on wheels. Let's cut through the buzzwords and get to the numbers, because while going electric is great for the planet, it's also seriously smart for your wallet. Start with your monthly energy costs. Charging the Harrier EV costs a fraction of what you'd pay at the pump to fuel a comparable gas or diesel SUV. In fact, you could slash your energy expenses by up to 80% every single month. That's hundreds of dollars back in your pocket, month after month. Use it for investments, family travel, tech upgrades, or simply to ease the cost of living. This isn't just a savings hack, it's a budget breakthrough. And it doesn't stop there. Electric vehicles like the Harrier EV have far fewer moving parts than traditional internal combustion engine, ICE, vehicles. No oil changes. No spark plugs. No timing belts. No complex engine repairs. Even brake replacements drop significantly thanks to regenerative braking. The result? Maintenance costs drop by 50% to 70%. That's not just convenience, it's a massive reduction in long-term ownership costs. Then there's the peace of mind factor. The Harrier EV comes backed by a robust battery warranty, ensuring long-term confidence. And thanks to over-the-air OTA software updates, your vehicle stays cutting edge without ever visiting a dealership, constantly improving in performance, efficiency, and value straight from the cloud. Add it all up, the fuel savings, the drastically reduced maintenance, and the digital updates that keep your EV running like new, and the numbers are crystal clear. The average Harrier EV owner saves $1,400 to $1,800 US dollars every year compared to owning a traditional diesel SUV. For years, one challenge echoed louder than the rest. Where will we charge it? The perceived lack of charging infrastructure was long held up as the biggest roadblock to India's EV revolution, its so-called Achilles heel. But that narrative? It's officially dead. India's EV charging network isn't just growing. It's exploding, evolving at breakneck speed, and silencing even the harshest critics. What once seemed like an impossible gap has now become one of the fastest developing EV ecosystems in the world. Let's talk numbers. Just a couple of years ago, you could count India's public charging stations on a few dozen hands. Fast forward to early 2024, and that number had rocketed to 12,000 stations nationwide, a six-fold increase in just two years. But it didn't stop there. By December 2024, India shattered expectations again, 
surpassing 25,200 public charges, doubling the network in less than 12 months. That's not progress. That's a charging revolution in real time. Behind this surge are powerhouses like Tata Power, Athergrid, and a wave of strategic government-private partnerships. They're not just blanketing big cities, they're building high-speed charging hubs across highways, small towns, and emerging urban centers, ensuring the electric future reaches everyone. And the Tata Harrier EV? It's built to thrive in this rapidly electrifying landscape. With its cutting-edge fast charging capability, the Harrier EV can juice up from 20% to 80% in just 25 minutes using a 120 kW DC fast charger. Need a quick boost? You'll get 250 kilometers, about 155 miles, of range in just 15 minutes, enough to turn any pit stop into a powerhouse moment. This isn't just convenient, it's a game changer for long distance travel and daily usability. What's even more impressive is the democratization of access. Charging infrastructure is no longer a big city luxury. Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities are now building robust EV ecosystems, making electric mobility viable and attractive to millions more Indians. Can the Tata Harrier EV conquer the world? Engineered to survive India's chaotic roads, extreme weather, and unforgiving terrain, the Harrier EV is not just tough, it's adaptable. That makes it perfectly primed for global markets. Its success at home is just the beginning. What makes it excel in India makes it a natural fit for countries across Africa, Southeast Asia, and South America, where billions are desperate for reliable, affordable electric mobility. Now factor in the specs, a 627 km range, rugged AWD, advanced level 2 ADAS, and a starting price just over 25,000 US dollars. That's not just competitive, it's disruptive. It's a vehicle tailored for emerging markets, yet built to meet safety and performance standards of even the strictest regions like the EU. This isn't just about India buying EVs, it's about India exporting them, challenging global supply chains, and shifting the axis of innovation. Imagine, instead of importing Teslas or BYDs, the world is now importing Indian-made EVs that outperform in both value and durability. The Tata Harrier EV could become India's first global EV icon, signaling to the world that the next wave of innovation doesn't come from Silicon Valley or Shanghai, but from Pune. The global EV battlefield is intense, but when it comes to value, versatility, and real-world impact, Tata is crushing the competition. While Tesla dazzles with software and autonomy, its prices remain sky-high for most of the Indian population. BYD, despite dominating volumes globally, hasn't earned the trust, service footprint, or deep emotional connection Tata holds across India. Hyundai brings premium tech, but rarely nails the value trifecta of price, range, and performance that Indian buyers demand. Tata, on the other hand, understands India, its roads, its people, and their aspirations. By building locally, they drive down costs while tailoring their vehicles to the market's unique demands. This localization strategy isn't just smart, it's lethal to competitors. The Tata Harrier EV isn't just a car, it's a signal flare. A wake-up call. Proof that India is no longer playing catch-up, it's setting the pace. This isn't just about technology. It's about accessibility. The Harrier EV represents the moment electric vehicles stop being a luxury for the few and become a reality for the many. It redefines what an EV can be for working-class families, middle-income professionals, and value-conscious global consumers alike. Tata's vision, backed by robust engineering and a government fully aligned on EV growth, is recasting India's role in the global auto industry, from consumer to creator, from follower to frontrunner. While the world's been distracted by Tesla, China, and legacy European brands, India quietly built the future. And now, the world can't look away. Because that future is affordable, electric, built to last, and unapologetically Indian.